Yo, what up guys, your boy Steve Finesse, and I'm back with another video. As you can see behind me, I got the BMW X540i, brand new, straight out the box. All right, since we're already on the outside, let's get a look at the couple things I like about the car, starting from the outside. Here we go. For one, I love the lights. I love the daytime running lights now, how it looks like this little type of, you know, you looking thing. I love it. My 540 that I just had, had a little more detail to it, but now this is more subtle and I love it. Next thing, have to go with the grill. It's huge. I love it. And now we got the uh, camera on the outside. Right here. Front camera. Next to the big grill, which is beautiful. Got all the little accents underneath. I love. Have to get a love of these rims right here. 20 inches. I call them the antlers. I love these rims. I love how they spoke off like that like you know like deer antlers i call them antlers i love them you got the vent right here little side vent i don't know if it's exactly actually like real and works but gotta love it it's a little detail from the car next thing is the color i think it's the Pyt pythonic metallic blue if i'm not mistaken exactly how to say it i'm always getting black cars i'm always getting white cars this blue just gives a, the car a little something else that I really love. It's different, not everybody has it, and I love it. All right, and if we jump right in, first things first, panoramic sunroof. Just keeps going all the way to the back. That's beautiful. Daytime, nighttime, you get the whole thing open. Love that. Next thing is probably we could say is the ambient lighting. It's different. Like I said, my 540 had different lighting, which is beautiful. I think this is even more beautiful. I love it. It comes underneath the vents, the center console, two big lines right here, across the whole center to the other side even to the back both door handles on both sides have them i love the handles i think they're nice um one of my other main ones that i love that i have to say is now if we do the heated seat right not only is the front seat heated but either side on the armrest is heated on both sides, this is heated and this is heated if you press the front ones. Now, the back ones actually have them as well. If I could get them here and see. Okay, now they're on. The back seats also have heated seats as well, which I think is amazing. So not only does the front seats have them, not only does the back seats have them, but your armrests both have them as well. Of course, you have the heated steering wheel. That's, you know, a lot of people, you know, kind of say that's normal, but a lot of people also don't have that in their car. So I think that's cool. Um, one other thing I could say is now I love the full digital dash. Everything is digital. My 540 was a 2020 and it was digital but it wasn't fully, fully digital. Like the silver lining right here or the white lining, whatever you want to call it, that was the only thing that was actually plastic. Everything else was digital, but that was the only thing that was plastic. Now, literally everything is digital. If we put it into comfort mode, it switches, right? If we put it into eco mode, it switches. And then of course, if we put it into sport, it switches again three modes which is beautiful i love it okay next is i know you guys heard of the 
BMW card key, which can unlock and lock your doors. I didn't, I have the physical one that they gave me, but uh, that might be regular to you guys again. I have it on my phone now where I can actually have a digital key card where I can just put my phone up to the door handle from the outside and it will actually unlock and lock the car. So all I do is put my phone right up to here, or excuse me, right up to here next to the door handle and it will actually lock the car like, there's my finger doing it, but if I do my phone as a key card, it will do it as well. Okay, now for my next thing, let's get into the backup camera. So let's put this in reverse. And a couple features that I have, I have the um, backup camera package, I believe it's called. So not only do I have the car here to show me exactly where I'm going and what's around me, I also have this. And if I go here, let's see, I think it's 3D view. I actually have the whole car right here to show me everything that's around me. I think that's amazing. I love that. Behind me, on the side of me, like dead even to the corners of the car, it'll go. Yep, that's my girlfriend. Don't mind her. I love that. It shows you everything. Assistant it tells you the feet, everything around you. I can do from the image. And then we can go back to here. Let's see. And then if we go to parking, it will go back to regular. I love that. That's definitely one of my features that I absolutely love about this car as well. The features in this car are absolutely beautiful. I have to say, I really love the images in this car. It re BMW really did a good job with the new X5. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think every nook and cranny got taken care of this year. It usually does every year, but I love it. Um, let's see. Of course, you got to love the ambient lighting. Let's just change a couple colors, see what you guys like the best. Green is cool. I like the green. And I also like the lilac. I think that's like probably like original BMW color right there. That or blue. But as of right now, I like it on blue. Okay, now, probably for the last thing I'm going to show you guys that I love is the engine. Look at this bad boy. 335 horse, turboed, inline six. Now, if you ask me, I feel as though this car has more than 335 horsepower, but that's what it says on paper. It's a beast and it's spotless clean still. That's how you know it's a brand new whip. Let's close it. Okay, now. That's everything I love about the car. If I'm missing anything, I'll definitely let you guys know. One thing, and one of the actual only things I hate, I hate, I hate about this car is that when you come to a stop, the engine turns off. I can't tell you how much I hate that feature about this car. My last BMW, the 540i 2020, it had a button, my start stop was right here. And underneath was a button to turn that off so it wouldn't happen. So here's a start stop on my new car. And I was looking all over the place for that button and they don't have it. They said that, you know, I guess the newer cars don't have it. So the only, there is a few options to get rid of that. You can always be in sport, right? You can always be in sport and the engine won't turn off. You could, you can configure sport mode. If you configure it, 
there, I actually did it already. The steering, I put the sport, engine I put the sport, and the transmission I put to comfort because, uh, you know, I don't need my, you know, RPMs to rev 3000 RPMs just cruising through town, that's annoying. That way it won't also do it. I also noticed that if you're in comfort, because being in comfort mode, your engine will turn off if you come to a complete stop. When you come to a complete stop, all I do is I just, like, oh, let's see, if I go in drive, right? Okay, I gotta be in drive, right? I come to a stop, I just push over my shifter. When I'm coming to a stop, I push it over and the engine will not turn off. I noticed that as an other key feature to not have the engine turn off, which is great. So guys, look, those are the things I love about my 2023 BMW X5 40i. And that's probably the only thing I hate, hate, hate about this car. To wrap it up, that is my 2023 X540i. I hope you guys enjoyed. And from here on out, we're going to be posting a lot more car content, a lot more gun content. And I hope you guys subscribe and really enjoy the content. And I'll definitely be back soon, all right? Finesse. <laughs>